Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm reading to you the second in a series of videos on the topic Encounter with the Jupiterians channeled by Alice B. Claggett. In the first of the series I had listened to a NASA recording on the sounds of Jupiter and I had felt weird emanations of energy coming into the side of the top of my head and so this is the second in the series entitled Conversation with Jupiterian Subterranean Beings and with my Martian Bacterial Colonists. Okay, Jupiterians are the beings of Jupiter and the Martian Bacterial Colonists are beings of Mars who colonized Earth billions of years ago and whose genetic engineering resulted in many of the beings we see on Earth today, including ourselves, our physical bodies. Not all of our subtle bodies, which derive from other dimensions, but the physical aspect of our beingness was bioengineered by the Martians, otherwise known as bacteria. And some of the Martians dwell in our colons, our human colons, or in the colons of other mammals, or sometimes free form on Earth in many different types of environments. Setting that all aside, I'll continue with the, with the video. When I woke up from my nap, and started back to work while sitting down, <clears throat> I felt similar waves of energy throbbing in my lower abdomen. Now, just as an aside, you may know that the lower abdomen is the seat of the, of the subconscious mind in human beings. And the subconscious mind is, is influenced nine out of 10 times by the Martians in our colons who, whose cells are outweigh our own cells in our colons which is about 10 times. And um, so the great emotion and the great telepathic ability of the subconscious mind of a human being derives mainly from the much more vast uh, telepathic ability of our Martian bacterial colonists of the human colon. This is found in other blogs, but just as an aside. Now, so, so I began to feel these emanations in my gut brain, my subconscious mind, and I drew a, a rough picture of it for you. It's entitled, Jupiterian Martian EMF Tummy Waves, Shimmying Side to Side, and it looks like this. The electromagnetic waves were of about the same regular amplitude and wavelength about three-fourths inch peak-to-peak -peak amplitude and about one inch wavelength. That is the same as before my nap, but it was in my temple back then. They were thrumming in a soft drum beat horizontally, moving back and forth about a half inch. The drum beat would extend to about a half inch outside my abdominal wall, then back in again. As I am EMF, hypersensitive, that's electromagnetic force hypersensitive. It felt as if my abdomen were moving in and out, although it was not. That got my total telepathic attention. What could be going on? Then I heard my Martian bacterial colonists walking in a Pacific, regular, left brain-like way, but softly spoken. They were speaking high school level English to another group of beings. Here's a thought. I wonder if the telepathic information they carried had to do with the back and forth movement of the EMF waves? Or what were the waves sending from the Martian bacterial colonists, the MBCs, to the Jupiterian subterranean beings, whom I'll call in future JSBs, Jupiterian subterranean beings. 
in the forward position, out from my abdomen, and receiving from JSB's two MBCs in the inward position, in toward my abdomen. In other words, I wondered if, if the telepathic emanations I was sensing were directional, and if a certain direction outward had to do with the MBCs talking, and another direction inward had to do with the JSBs talking, or vice versa. That was just an aside. So here is what those beings had to say. At first they said they were from Jupiter and that they live half a meter below the surface. They said the planet is habitable for them half a meter below the surface. I asked them why they speak English. They said they speak English because they hear it all around them. I asked what they looked like. They said they are worm-like and very, very thin. That made me think of the fine white filaments, or hyphae, H-Y-P-H-A-E, of the fungi. And I have here for you a picture of the very fine filaments of a type of edible European fungus called uh, Agaricus bisporus. Um, pictures by Rob Hill was taken in 2011. It can be found in Wikimedia Commons. So it looks like this. I don't know if you can see too well, but there are tiny little hi-fi all over this, or what I take to be hi-fi, tiny thin white filaments. See that? And just to read once more what they said about how they are, I asked them what they looked like. They said they are worm-like and very, very thin. And that is what made me think of the fine white filaments or hyphae of the fungi. The beings to which I was telepathically listening said they derive their food and water from those very great giant beings, the trees. And they showed me a visual image of a tree bending to the left The visual image of the tree looked like this drawing that I made in silhouette. This is almost exactly the, the visual image that was thrust into my mind by these Jupiterian beings. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's very rudimentary and I think perhaps symbolic in a, in, a, in a very archetypal way of their important images in their, in their cultural consciousness. Um, so I've gone into some detail about this image. The emotional feel of the visual image I received was that the beings with whom I was telepathically speaking were making a little fun of the tree or looking down on it just a bit, as we humans might look down on a cow, though it may have an emotional body much like our own, were we to enjoy hamburgers quite a bit, as if it were there merely to serve them. So the feeling that I got then from these Jupiterians was that the trees are there to serve them, much as we humans feel that cows are here to serve us. They feel about trees like we feel about cows. From this I thought maybe they might be the fungal strands that cause trees to communicate one with the other but I did not get corroboration on that. So that's it for today. Wishing you all the best. May you be safe and happy in these troubled times. May God protect you always.